In earlier training videos, we learned how to apply formatting to the contents of a cell, a range of cells, and even the cells themselves. Well, here I want to introduce you to Cell Styles, which is a collection of formats you can apply to a cell or a range of cells in a single click. And to see if you like any of these pre built in format styles, well, let's go take a gander by coming up here on the Home tab to the Styles group. And there you go, Cell Styles. You can see in the pop-up it says, a colorful style is a great way to make important data stand out on the sheet. Oh, I'm sold. Go ahead and click on it and, hey, look at all those styles. You even have the bad, the good, and the neutral. And so with my cell selected, if I hover over any one of these styles, it'll give me a preview over here. So if I do the bad, oh, that's bad. Okay, that's just the name of the style. It doesn't make it bad, but typically when you see red, that's bad. And then you got the good, oh, that's good. And then to apply it, just go ahead and click on it, and there you go. Now, if you want to be able to tweak it, well, with it already applied, you can make changes here. But if you want that to be updated to the style itself, then to modify the style, come back up here, click on Cell Styles, and then find the style, right-click on it. Well, you can apply it. And there's the Modify, which we'll go over in just a minute. You can duplicate it, make a copy of it, and then any changes you make won't overwrite the original, so you still have the original. You can also delete it. So to modify it, click on it, and it opens up. And this window only lists the styles that are included in the one that we're modifying. If you want to be able to make any changes, well, you can go ahead and uncheck it if you don't want it shaded here. Or if you want to choose a different shade and not the light green, click on Format, and okay, you got a lot to choose from. Okay, it's not a number, so we're not going to worry about the number style. You've got the alignment, you can align it horizontally, vertically within the cell. You've got the font, you can change the color, make it big, bad, bold, beautiful. And you've got the border, which we covered in an earlier training video. The color, the fill color. Protection, we'll cover that in a later training video. That's a little bit more advanced. Let's go ahead and close out. I'm not going to make any changes. I'll just click Cancel here and leave as is. Let me go ahead and select another range here and go back to Cell Styles. And if you don't like any of these, you want to start from scratch. You can either come down here and click on New Cell Style, and then click on Format, and then you know check the boxes, whatever you want, and then click OK. And then, of course, go ahead and give it a name, and then click OK. Let me close out. You can do it that way, or you can go ahead and apply formats to the range, or select a cell or range of cells that has formatting that you like, that you want to convert into an actual cell style here, because it'll suck it right in. Let me show you. Let's start from scratch. And so we've got a range selected. Let's go ahead and just come up here and make it bold. Let's do a fill color. Uh, let's kind of do light. Let's do red accent to lighter 80%. Click on that and okay, let's change the font color. Let's do dark blue. Yeah, that works. Okay, so you can see it right there. If I like it and I want that to be a new cell style, so I don't have to go ahead and, you know, Select another range, we'll want the same format applied to it, and use the formatting shortcuts, which we went over in an earlier training video. If you want it to be a cell style, select it. Come up here, click on cell styles. Go down and click on new. When you click on new, it's going to suck in what you have selected here, and it's listed right there. And of course, you can click on format, make some more tweaks and updates there, but I've got everything I need here. I just need to go ahead and give it a fun name, or it's a fun style. And then click okie dokie. Cool. So I can go ahead and select another range, and is my fun style there? Click on style. Oh, that's fun. And of course, you can go ahead and right click on it to modify it, delete it, and then let me click on it, and there you go. Cool. Now, this style is only available in this workbook. If I create a new workbook, it's not going to be available there. So, what if I want to have the style available in a new workbook or in another workbook that I'm working on? I'm glad you asked. Well, let me go ahead and minimize this down to the taskbar because on my desktop, here's the workbook that I'm currently in, Create and Manage Styles, and here's my copy of it, number two. Let me go ahead and double click to open that up. And you can see up here in the title bar, it's number two. And let me click off. There's a range that I set up previously. It's a cell style. So if I come up here, click on cell styles, it's my spiffy style. So the other workbook, the first one has the fun, this one has the spiffy. If I want to go ahead and merge from one to the other, go ahead and go to the workbook that you want to merge the style into. Like if I stay in this workbook and I come down here and click on Merge Styles. Now the caveat is that you've got to have that other workbook open to be able to bring the style in. 
So I have my other workbook that has the fun style, right? As opposed to the workbook number two that I'm in that has spiffy. So if I want to bring the fun style in, click on Merge Styles. And it says, you want to merge styles from the first workbook? Well, the one that doesn't have number two, like this one does. I'm like, yes, you know, select it. If you have other workbooks open, it would list those other workbooks with those other styles, if they had styles within them to merge. So go ahead and click OK. And it's going to say, do these merge styles have the same names? They don't, so I'm good. I won't be overriding anything, so I'll say no. OK, let's see if it's available. Let me select my range to prepare myself and see if the fun style has been brought over. Click on cell styles and all oh, that's fun. Click on it. Gravy. That's great. Let's go ahead and go back to the other one and let's click on cell styles. Now the spiffy style isn't here so I just need to with that other workbook open that contains that style say merge it. And there's number two. And this is number one. You can see up in the title bar we don't have number two there so we select number two. Click okie dokie. Do they have the same name? No we're good. So I'll uh, we'll just go ahead and select that range, click on cell styles. Oh, that's spiffy. Cool. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please look in the description below this video.